Hello and welcome back to the channel. Did you watch the drive in the introduction video? If you didn't, go back and check it out. That is touring pro John Willis absolutely crushing a 450 foot drive on a golf line nice and straight to park a 460 foot pole. Would you like to do the same thing? I'm sure every person watching this video is like, yes, I would love to throw it 450 feet on a perfect golf line parking all these super long holes. Well, how do you get there? That's a great question and something we've all been wondering. That's why we're on the internet. That's why we're looking things up. The answer is great technique. So let's work on some great technique. This is the second video of my series working on PVC pipe drills to help you improve your game. In today's video, we are gonna go over the power pocket. Before we get into drills, let's discuss what the power pocket is. This is the position your arm should be getting into when you go from your reach back to get ready to throw the disc. Here we see a bunch of pros getting into that perfect power pocket, which essentially makes a U with your upper arm, your forearm, your chest, and the disc with all the angles at 90 degrees so you can really turn and eject that disc with maximum power. First thing I'm gonna do is show you an easy way to get into the power pocket, which is reach your arm parallel to the ground and then just fold Hold your elbow in at 90 degrees. This should naturally happen as you turn your body from your reach back into your throwing position. The first drill does not have any PVC pipes. It's more of a lead up. When we turn to throw, we don't want to use our throwing arm per se. We want to generate our power from our hips and also our non-throwing shoulder and arm. So here I have my arm grabbing my shirt where my power pocket would be on my throwing arm. And then my back arm is grabbing my shorts. And I'm just really working on turning and getting those hips engaged and getting used to my body moving and twisting like this in the throwing motion without putting pressure on my throwing arm. Here I'm just reminding myself to keep my arm loose so I can achieve maximum arm speed. Our first PVC pipe drill is kind of a field drill. You're gonna drop that PVC pipe down on the ground right by your foot and you're just going to go from your reach back into the power pocket and just get a good feeling of that going into the power pocket once again nice and loose. Myself, I am working on leading with my back arm and shoulder first and then just letting that arm collapse right into that power pocket. I like to close my eyes when I do this so I can get that feeling. That way when I do switch to a disc, it's gonna feel natural. I'm also playing with slightly different positionings to see what feels comfortable and what feels right. Here's an interesting picture of Paul McBeth going from his reach back to his power pocket. He's got that disc really lagging, so I'm also trying to work on that to get my flexibility a little bit better. Again, this is all stuff that works for me, so if it doesn't work for you, try something else. I'm also playing with my elbow position to see what feels right. Obviously videoing to see what looks good, what looks proper, all of that stuff. I've been playing about a year and a half and added about, I don't know, 150 feet to my drive uh, doing these sort of drills and kind of playing with these positions. So if it works for you, awesome. Here's the back view of this drill. Again, just making sure I'm getting my hips engaged, leading with that back hip and that back arm, getting in proper position or what looks like proper position to me. Also making sure my arm collapses properly into that nice U power pocket position so we can really get that disc ejecting out at maximum velocity. Our second PVC pipe drill I got from Coach Mike living in Montana. I'll link his YouTube in the description. All we're gonna do is hold our PVC pipe parallel to the ground and just turn and work ourselves into this power pocket. Then as we turn, we're gonna hold our power pocket in that position until we get to about 10 or 11 o'clock. Then we're gonna finish our throw like we would normally throw a disc. This is gonna really help us work on keeping our hand in the power pocket as we are turning, which is what we should be doing. You might see the pros do something similar when they're warming up on the tee pad, holding their disc straight up and down, just working on keeping their arm in that power pocket position until about 10 or 11 o'clock. Here's the back view once again, keeping that PVC pipe nice and parallel to the ground, touching my back shoulder and keeping that PVC pipe in that position until 10 or 11 o'clock. Once again, just giving you another look here, then ejecting that PVC pipe out right at about 10 or 11 o'clock. This drill really helped me a lot. I've actually made a play on this. Once again, this is an easy way to get our power pocket position, holding our arm parallel to the ground and folding that at 90 degrees. I got that from Coach Rick. I'll link that in the description. This drill I invented myself. This drill is gonna help you out with a lot of things, not just your power pocket. You're gonna hold the PVC pipe a little bit out in front of you, but also you're gonna make sure it's touching your forearm. You're gonna grip it like you would grip your disc, and you're just gonna work yourself into your power pocket through your throwing motion. 
This drill has really helped me improve five things. First off, it helps me improve my power pocket. That's what we're working on today. It's also going to help me throw flat and straight because I'm keeping that PVC pipe parallel to the ground all the way through my throwing motion, which is what we need to do to throw flat and straight. This drill is also going to help me keep the nose angle of my disc down. I'm doing this by properly grabbing the PVC pipe just like I would my disc. Here I'm taking a little break just to recheck my power pocket. I'm also using the long end of the PVC pipe that's hanging behind me. I'm doing this to make sure all of my parts are at a 90 degree angle. You will also notice when you go through the throwing motion, the PVC pipe is going to hit your back. It's actually gonna hit your back at your proper release point right at about 11 o'clock. That's our fourth thing we work on in this drill. And the fifth thing and final thing is our timing. We can play with different ways we're moving our body to improve our timing and how our body works through the throwing motion. All right, here I am again reminding myself to stay loose. This drill I got from Ezra Aderhold. He uses a disc and calls it the disc follow drill or something along those lines. Once again, I'll link that. I think it's easier for me to do with the PVC pipe. All we're gonna do is plant the PVC pipe in the middle part of our body and do our walkthrough, leaving that PVC pipe in the same position. This drill not only helps me with my power pocket, but it also helps me with my walk up and X step and just getting all those parts working together properly. I also use this drill to really turn my body in that power pocket so I can get that elbow out in front of my body to get that to get that full power and the snap at the end of that throw. We can also use these drills to kind of play around with how high or low your power pocket is. Everybody's gonna have a different level of comfort wherever it is. Here's the front view of this drill. Once again, this is gonna help us out with a lot of things. Just leaving that disc in one spot. Also making sure our upper body is nice and loose, keeping that throwing arm loose and getting that back arm going through first. That's how we create that nice, perfect power pocket. Our final drill is an oldie but goodie, the old wall drill. You've probably seen this before. You're gonna get your lower half set up into your throwing motion with your front foot two or three inches away from the wall. And we're just gonna work ourselves through our throwing motion. And that's really gonna help us feel that power pocket and how that power pocket should stay through our turn into our release point, which is anywhere from 10 to 11 o'clock, depending on a lot of factors and what kind of shot you're throwing and things like that. It's also gonna help us throw flat and straight. And I'm also really focusing on keeping the nose angle of my disc down. Here's the back view. This is also gonna help us with a lot of rounding issues that you may have. And again, I use this to play with different positions of not only my power pocket, but also my back arm and my reach back, which is an important thing I'm starting to work on. And also just getting that back arm through first, which is gonna give us a lot of lag on that disc and some extra power that we need. This is a drill that I come back to if I'm ever in a throwing slump or something feels off in my throw. All of these drills have really helped me improve my game. Hopefully they help you. Maybe you can make a little play on some of these drills to improve your game. I'm just out here sharing what works for me. Usually after I do some drill work, I get out there and sling some D. Here's me throwing a putter. Here I'm just focusing on getting a good power pocket and keeping my arm really loose as I throw. I'm not super worried about the result, just how it feels. Finally, the last thing you can do is have some fun and use your PVC pipe as a paddle board. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope that you guys learned something. Some of this information you may have heard before that's out there, uh, but maybe there's just a little bit different spin on it, which is great. Once again, there's tons of different resources out there and you should check them all out so you can give yourself the best chance to learn the proper technique. Anything I mentioned in the video will be linked in the description so you can kind of follow the path that I did a little bit. Once again, there's a lot of great resources out there, but get out there, try some of these drills, especially since it's getting winter time. Maybe you don't get your chances out on the course if you're living in a uh, wintry area. Uh, go ahead and do some of these. Maybe it'll improve your D when you uh, get out on the real course. Anyways, thank you for coming. Appreciate it. See you next time. Peace.